Well, this tournament has thrown out some uh, interesting surprises, really, in terms of Indian batting talent. We look at some of the mainstays of the Indian format, all format cricketers, and there's real, you know, there's worry. I'm sure there's people worried all around India for the form of Virat Kohli. He's had a, he's had a disappointing time. You know, is he burned out? Does he need time away from the game? Sometimes as a batter and as a cricketer, you just can't keep playing day in, day out, putting your heart and soul into every single performance. So Virat Kohli's form will definitely be a concern for uh, Bangalore. Rohit Sharma, you know, many, many feel he is the, one of the most complete batters in the world. He has struggled with the bat. Um, it's, this is unknown territory, really, to have Virat and Rohit Sharma really, really battling at the same time, two of India's premier batters. So that will be a worry for everyone watching within Indian cricket. Um, you know, World Cup October, so we're looking at World Cup in six months' time, down under. It's a long way away. If you're an Indian cricket fan, you do not need to worry about Rohit Sharma or Virat Kohli. These guys are proven performers some of the best players to ever grace the game in Indian colours. So I have no doubt they're going to be just fine when the World Cup comes. But it is a concern, the lack of form at the moment and the lack of productivity. Um, I suppose it's a bigger concern for Mumbai because Rohit Sharma's team is losing and he isn't getting runs. For Bangalore, they can say, listen, we're going really well. We're playing some really good cricket. And one of our main players, Virat, hasn't fired yet. So if Virat fires, Bangalore could easily go on and win this tournament. So I think if you're Mike Hessen, you're really happy with your team performance. You're worried about Vera Kohli, but I think you're backing Vera Kohli to come good at the right time. And this just might be Bangalore's year.